Right, so this might go very wrong, but I am going to take the risk. So these are my Azure Lane Iron Blood Trial Deck SPs. Now these are the decks that you can pull what seems to be the chase card of Azure Lane, the Prince Yugen SP. Now, as you can see, this is my stock and there's clearly one display case missing that was sold on the website on Card Cami, and a few more decks have been sold as well. So potentially there is a risk that two SPs are gone. You can pull two SPs from a sealed case and there's a very slim chance I'm going to open all of these display boxes and decks and there might be no SPs. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because we are now about one month after Azure Lane has been released, right? So typically for Weiss Wars and my card cami store, I've noticed this a lot. If you're looking at three to four weeks post release, you won't really get any more sales after that. Most of the sales come in on pre-order, release day, or about one to two weeks after. If the set is popular, you normally get quite a few orders on those sort of one to two weeks post release. So in this case, I'm pretty much going to be sat on all of these decks um, potentially for years unless something happens and the price decides to just kind of spike and jump and, and double in price on the decks and display cases. Then they would start to sell um, because I'd be selling them still at retail, right? So um, if that doesn't happen, it's common that I'm going to be sat on this product for quite some time and obviously there's a lot of money in a near display case of trial decks so I thought I'd take the risk I thought I would risk it all and open the trial decks and hope to get one or two SPs and that way I think you know obviously it's fun to open stuff I can make content I can make this video it is enjoyable but I can sell the SPs that I pull um, and that's a lot easier to do than it is to say sell 40 trial decks for a, you know even though this is a popular set it's still you know these decks aren't moving um, much at all uh, obviously they are now all out of stock on my website because as you'll see in the video I open all of the decks but I guess this is just a different way to regain capital if you're a store. Um, and this is why people open a lot of white Schwarz. This is why people happily will order a sealed case of white Schwarz, open it all. Um, because it, you can kind of recoup that money. The expected value, the EV from white Schwarz product is generally quite strong. And you get a chance of hitting a chase SP, which can mean that potentially you get more value back than what you paid for the case so there are a lot of options this is I guess a good thing with Weiss Wars that you have the option to do things like this obviously in my case this is risky because there could be nothing absolutely nothing here at all whereas if you had a full sealed case to yourself then you know it, it's a bit easier to open it because you know there's two SPs somewhere inside that might be the chase might not be but it's a, a lot easier to determine uh, like maximum loss maximum profit compared to this where I could get stung or I might get lucky as you can see the cards look really really nice and in this case you actually get a triple rare in every single trial deck now even some of the triple rares there are a lot of them but some of them are actually worth the value of the trial deck itself um, obviously others are you know a few dollars a few pounds but yeah there are some that are worth a fair amount of value so yeah at this point I'm sure you've noticed I'm quite a lot of display cases through the product. I think I only had two silk display cases left. So I was getting quite nervous here thinking I'm not going to pull anything. There's no SP. But there we go. Let's go. We actually pulled the Chase SP from the trial decks that I had remaining. So this card is around sort of 800, 900 US dollars. Unfortunately, mine did have a tiny bit of whiting on it. But there we go. That's the rest of the cases. That is the the mess from opening them all. But yeah, there were two still display cases left. I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to open them or not. I ended up opening them because I was told the other SP is the Baltimore SP, I believe. That's worth like $500. So I did risk it. I opened those last two display cases you can see right there, but I did not hit the SP. So, so congrats to whoever purchased the display case from the Card Academy store or the couple of decks. One of you have obviously pulled the Baltimore SP, which is a very expensive card as well. So congrats on that. But there we have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm trying to get 
to a thousand subscribers so if you're not subscribed please hit subscribe if you enjoyed the video hit like on the way out and drop a comment below on who your favorite azure lane character or card is and thanks for watching as always i'll see you guys in the next video